Hello, this video is a quick update of where we've got to with getting the mind test working for the Manchester Day Parade. And when I say we, it should be a hat tip to James. James has done most of the work for this. I've just pulled this together into GitHub. Okay, so here's how to get started with what we've got so far. You need to go to GitHub, Manchester Code Dojo, Mad Lab Miners. And I'm going to start this completely from fresh. Uh, I'm using Sigwin on Windows. Um, so I'm going to go to my home directory, get the URL to clone from git, and do git clone, paste in the URL, um, and we'll have the project so far. Give that a second while it uh, downloads. There we go. Now I've got a folder called MadLab Miners, which has got the code in it. So over on GitHub, here's the README. And what we're going to do first is make the client work using an existing mind test installation. Now, over on my desktop, I've got a mind test video. Sorry, not a mind test video. A mind test installation and I promise you it's fairly vanilla. So I'm going to go into the Manchester Day Parade folder and go into the float client first of all uh, and there's a program in there called uh, install existing Linux. So I'm going to run that and I need to pass it the name of the root folder where I've installed mind test. So on Sigwin I have to go and find it Uh, and it's on my desktop and it's the folder my test. Once I've done that, it says I need to restart my test in order to play. Well, I'm not going to go and do that yet because I'm going to kill two birds with one stone and install the, um, the server as well. So if I go into the parade server folder uh, and do the same thing into the, another install existing Linux and with the same folder directory as I had previously. So I've now installed the server and also installed the client. Jump over to mind test uh, and fire up the mind test window. And you see I've got the parade client world and the parade server world installed. I'm gonna start mind test twice. So I'm going to, I've now got two mind test windows. I'm going to use one as the client and one as the server. These both run, need to run in server mode. And for the server, the player needs to run as the, the player count called camera in order for this to work. Now, next thing I'm going to go and do is if I go and look at the worlds that have been installed, um, under the server world as this skems folder and there's four um, float files in there already I'm actually going to get rid of uh, I'll get rid of two of them just so there's two blocks there already you're going to enjoy James's floats they're uh, spectacular so jump back to mine test and I'll start the one on the right as the server select the server world and say start game. Once the game starts I do the chat command p start and that starts the parade up and here's James's wonderful two uh, floats both of them go past and uh, once it gets to the end of this two float parade it starts again so I'm going to leave that running and jump over to the client world. So in the client side, uh, I'm going to start the client world. Oh, look, I can't because I tried to start it in server mode and the server's already running on the other side. I should have started that in single player mode. 
Here we go. Start the client world in single player mode. That's better. So if I go over here, there's this uh, area within which I can build my float. So I think I can show James a thing or two about building floats. Watch this one. I'm pretty happy with that. A spectacular float. So after I've done that, I come over here, find the button. to uh, save the float, press the button and after a second or two you'll see that the world has reset itself. Come back to the file system, look at the client world and in the schemes folder in there you'll see that there is a new parade file. I'm going to pick that up and copy it over, sorry, pick that up and copy it over to the server world's Schems file as one of the same names, so I'll just let Windows sort that out. So I've now got three files in the Schems folder of the server. So with any luck, if we watch the server, leave that running. Sorry, I've moved my perspective. We should see. There it is. There's my new float that I just made has now appeared in the server. So we've got three floats out there in the server. Hooray! Next thing I'm going to do is uh, think a little bit, little bit more about the naming of those files so that they're uh, named more uniquely and see if we can actually get this running on a, a real server and maybe more than one client. Anyway, for now, goodbye.